Good day, RGV. Today on Valley Puerto Vida, we're about to talk about some of us, you know, and how we may be pretending to like sports for our partner. <laughs> we're also going to be breaking down all new fun facts about sports and sports legends. We've got a tasty agave beverage for you to try out this Cinco de Mayo, plus details on a Mother's Day health event in Brownsville. That info plus so much more today. The show starts right now. Hi there, and thanks again for joining us today. I'm your host, Danielle Bonda. So I've actually got a really interesting story to kick off today's show, okay? But first question, <laughs> are you a sports fan? See, there was a recent survey conducted that outlined one in four Americans pretend to like sports for their partner. Apparently there are some deal breakers though when it comes to our relationships and this may not be you know, one of the things that you may think, uh, like you know, spiritual aspects or political views. Nope, instead they have more to do with the type of sports team that you're cheering for. And not having the same frame of mind when it comes to the love of sports, well, it may affect your rom romantic relationships. I know, it seems hard to believe, right? <laughs> well, we actually had the chance to speak with an expert and she's gonna break it all down for us. If you approach sports this way in your relationships, then maybe you can check out more details on this survey on their website to learn all about how others do too. And if you're into sports, then you might like to know that we're about to dive in deeper. So according to the bleachreport.com, apparently athlete Babe Ruth uh, paid a fan $20 for the sp specific baseball that he hit. Uh, it was commemorating his 700th career home run. Uh, so I don't know, what do you guys think about that? Would you have taken the $20 and returned it to him? <laughs> I mean, some of us are, you know, serious sports fans going all out uh, with our jerseys, our ball caps, and of course our team colors. In fact, the site says that Pittsburgh is actually the only American city that has three sports teams with each one repping the same exact colors, which is pretty cool. And if you're a golf fan, then you may be surprised to know that the golf ball can fly through the air pretty fast. According to the site, it can reach speeds of about 170 miles per hour. And in case you ever actually, you know, have taken the time to thoroughly look at one, <laughs> uh, you'll notice that they have a lot of, you know, little, little dimples. Uh, well, apparently each golf ball has more than 350 of these little grooves. And since we mentioned, you know, Babe Ruth earlier, this one is kind of cool to know. The site says that he actually wore a cabbage leaf under his ball caps so that it could help keep him cool and even, you know, change the leaf out, you know, every two innings to make sure that the effect remained. But let's say baseball is not exactly your thing and neither is golf. Well, the site outlines that tug of war actually was used to uh, you know, be considered an Olympic event between the years of 1900 and 1920. So if you've ever played before, then you know it's fun and that's definitely great. And if we switch gears just a little bit from tug of war to Formula One, you may be surprised to know that these amazing vehicles can actually go about 120 miles an hour. But the site says that they generate so much downforce that they actually have the ability to drive upside down on the roof of a tunnel. Very interesting. And apparently most NASCAR teams, uh, they have a little secret trick to help them out on the road. The site says that they actually use nitrogen in their tires instead of air. And in case you didn't know this one about baseball, the site also outlines that baseball caps used to be made of straw. My oh my, how times have changed. <laughs> and while sports are fun, uh, so is Cinco de Mayo, right? I mean, there are actually some amazing traditions brought forth by the occasion, many of which include great tasting beverages. So we thought it'd be a great idea to talk about an agave based spirit that just may do the trick for you today. Hi, I'm Mara Smith, the founder and CEO of Inspiro Tequila. And uh, today we're talking about our new tequila brand that just launched. Um, it's an additive free, uh, confirmed additive free tequila, and we are 
uh, woman owned, created, and uh, led. So it's really exciting. Um, you know, it's a great opportunity to get to celebrate. Um, I mean, on Cinco de Mayo, I think it's traditionally, you know, one of the, one of the ways to celebrate is by enjoying tequila, since that is the main uh, spirit in Mexico. So we're we're so glad to be able to celebrate here as well. Um, and you know, just create amazing cocktails and enjoy this like really, you know, very traditional uh, spirit from Mexico. And Spiro tequila is really, um, it's very easy to drink tequila. We like to say it's, it's actually dangerously easy to drink. So um, you can actually drink it on its own, which is typically um, if you're drinking in a very traditional way, you'd be drinking tequila neat, even a Blanco tequila but it works really well in so many fashions. So um, meat on the rocks, my favorite way is really tequila and soda uh, with a little squeeze of lime or mixed into a really clean, simple cocktail. We like to really highlight the flavor profile and um, it's really versatile to use, but it also does not require putting it in a very you know sugary um, drink. You can really drink it in a very clean, simple way. So Inspiro means inspire in Spanish. And I really, I named it after two women who have really inspired me in my life. Um, my grandmother, um, a Holocaust survivor who came here with very little formal education and really instilled in me kind of a really strong work ethic and, and the confidence that you can accomplish anything that you put your mind to. And my mom, who um, again, always, gave me the confidence to believe in myself and um, I guess, you know, made me think that anything was possible. Um, and again, if you work hard and put your mind to it, and she's really someone who, uh, once she is determined and has her mindset on something, she's kind of a force to be reckoned with. So I had two amazing role models. And I think that's, they're kind of what led me to believe that I can enter into a whole new industry and make an impact. So happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone. I hope you get to enjoy the day and enjoy some tequila with it. Um, if you're ever looking for some great recipes and cocktail recipes, we have a lot of them on our website at inspirotequila.com. That looks good, and now it's time to take a commercial break. We've also got to look at your local weather updates, but be sure to stay tuned because we're going to be right back, and we're going to be breaking down the National Month calendar uh, to learn all about the fun that we can take part in observing this May. We'll also introduce you to an amazing actor who's got a brand new spin-off show. You won't want to miss those details, plus so much more when we return.